Hello everyone. We are going to talk about a very interesting topic today. Ayurvedic diet and how the different six tastes in Ayurvedic diet can help you. This is going to be joined. We are going to be joined with Bella Ayurveda. She is Vishali. Vishali is going to join us from Colombia right now and who's going to talk to us about how there are six different tastes in Ayurvedic diet. Vishali, are you ready to join us? I am looking at Vishali right now, who's going to join us live. She is an Ayurvedic nutritionist who's going to join us live from Colombia, and we are going to talk about six different tastes in Ayurvedic diet. So I'm just waiting for Ayur Vishali to join us. One second. In one second. And um, <clears throat> so I don't know if all of you know there are six tastes in Ayurvedic diet. This is sweet, sour, salty, pungent, bitter, and astringent. So we are just waiting for Vishali who will walk us through how six different tastes are important when you're eating any meal. And this, is, this happens, you know, in most of the um, Indian vegetarian um, your meals that, that, that you go and you eat. Oh, hi. Hi, Vishal. Hi. You? Can I you see me? Yes, yes. I was trying to become a nutritionist here. I was waiting for you. So. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you so much. Okay, great, great. And the thing is, I cannot see myself again. I don't know what, what's happening. That's but okay. That's okay. okay. I, we can see you. So, so I, I was just saying that we're going to talk about Ayurvedic diet and how six different tastes are important in Ayurvedic diet. So, uh, so this is Vishali. She is an Ayurvedic Hi. nutritionist. Hello. She's joining us live from Colombia. She speaks perfect Spanish. So say something in Spanish also uh, during our talk. Um, yeah. All right. So, so let's just talk about what are the six different tastes in Ayurvedic diet? So it's like, like in your life, no? Like you have things that sometimes you feel happy, sometimes you feel down, sometimes it's, you know, like more dynamic. So just like that in the food, in uh, this also exists, you no? Know? So the six tastes basically in, in Sanskrit we say like rasas, you no? Know? So they're like different tastes that makes up a, uh, for a balanced and healthy diet. Hmm? And they're important just so you feel like more nourished, more good, because if you see there are so many people like who eat, uh, who eat food and then they feel more hungry or they overeat, no? Or they eat too less and then they feel bad or some people have bulimia. So Ayurveda, which is the medicine from India, teaches us that there are six tastes which can help balance you, which can help balance your life, which can help balance the way you feel. So That's great. What, so what are the six different tastes? Let's just uh, go over each one of them one by one. Okay, okay. So six different tastes are one, I think many of you can guess if you want, you can comment also. So the number one taste, which is super popular in all over the world is the sweet taste. Hmm? So sweet taste, what is it? So sweet, you can think, mostly people think that, oh, it's like dates or it's like raisins or coconut sugar, hmm? but it's more than that. So sweet taste, I'll show you. Uh -huh. uh, one of the doctors saying madhur. Madhur rasa, muy bien, yes. So madhur or uh, like the sweet taste, basically consists of a lot of things, not just of sweet, natural sweets, but they also consist of things like, for example, rice. So for example, in the Western medicine, we say that rice is carbs, no? Or yeah. pasta has carbs. Yeah. But in Ayurvedic medicine, this thing is also considered as a sweet taste. I don't know if you can see. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 you can show the rice. Oh, because it turns into sugar, right? When... Uh, when we eat it, it becomes a sugar inside. So that's why it becomes a sweet taste, right? That's yes. And, and sweet okay. taste is also very building. So for example, like people who suffer from like malnourishment or if they have like uh, low energy levels or if they're very thin. Hmm? Yeah, so yeah. Uh, for them, sweet taste is also very recommended. It's good for them to ground them. Hmm? Okay. So for example, also sweet taste, it's very interesting. So vegetables like the uh, root vegetables. Oh, show me, show me the occasion. Okay. I hope oh, I'm showing it good. <laughs> I cannot see myself, but so this is okay. like a carrot, no? So for example, you can think of uh, root vegetables, like for example, the beets and potatoes. So in, in Spanish, we say like vegetales de raíz, like the vegetables that come from the root. Okay. 
So root vegetables are also grounding. Hmm? So for example, they come from the ground and they are grounding. No? So it's that. So sweet taste, the, uh, the root vegetables also have the sweet taste. And things like, for example, things which are very rich and nourishing, for example, avocado oh, also. Okay. Yeah. And come under the. Hold it up a little bit higher so we can see. Okay. Yeah, you can. See. And, and, and please say in Spanish also for our Spanish re viewers. We have uh, Spanish viewers who are watching this. Okay. So please feel free to speak Spanish in between as well. Okay, okay. Hola, holística. Listo. So I'm going to repeat in Spanish uh, what I said. So, estamos hablando de los sabores. Sí, so primer sabor que tú puedes encontrar en tu comida y alrededor de ti también es el sabor que es dulce. So, por ejemplo, granos, ¿sí? Vegetales de raíz, no solo arándanos, no solo, ¿sabes? Dulces naturales son dulce también. Vegetales de raíz, los granos que sea dulce, viene en el sabor dulce. Y aguacate también puede ser, uh, venir en esta categoría. Okay. okay right. And, Let's move on to the next taste now. What is the next taste? Yes. <laughs> so sweet taste is like the most, um, how to say, most popular one. So sweet taste, for example, like you go anywhere, people usually like they have rice or they have pasta. No, so most of the tastes are like sweet because they don't have, like for example, in many restaurants, they don't put a lot of things. So it's like mostly sweet, mostly carbs. Hmm? So next one, the next most common taste that we see is the um, salty. Yeah. Salty taste. So the, here I have like sea salt. Okay. This is not refined salt. It looks white, but it's ref it's sea salt. Okay. <laughs> uh, so here like uh, sea salt is also very famous that we use. But I know like in India and US, like we find like, uh, how to say Himalayan salt, the pink salt yeah. or uh, different salt, different type of natural salts that come in India and US. So you can use that too. Plus, like if you see, uh, there are some vegetables which have salt naturally in them. For example, um, apio, or how do you say, parsley. Oh, parsley. Uh, so parsley is a vegetable which all naturally has minerals in it. So it's like, for example, if anyone here wants to lower the quantity of salt, they can use like more parsley in their like in their lentils or in their veggies, whatever they cook. And another salt uh, thing that you can see very clearly in nature is in the sea. So for example, the uh, for example sushi. Like the green, how do you say, algae? See, so algae uh, are, are also salty. So that's a salty taste, which is also the most common taste. If you see in any house in the world, usually has, you know, most houses in the world have rice, which yeah. is sweet, and salt, which is like salty. Perfect. So these two tastes are the most common ones in all parts of the world. Hmm? Okay. And can I say repeat in Spanish too, very yeah, quickly? Sure. Please, please hmm? go ahead and speak, okay. repeat in Spanish, yes. Okay. Okay. So, la segunda sabor que utilizamos en Ayurveda para sanarte, para sentirte más balanceada, es el sabor salado. So, salado tú puedes ver en las, uh, como sal marina ¿m? y sal rosada. Pero también hay algunas vegetales que tienen el contenido de sal alto, ¿sí? Como los minerales, por ejemplo, apio, es un vegetal que tiene sal naturalmente, plus algue, ¿no? Algue que viene del mar y también, por ejemplo, um, con lo que tú haces sushi, este también es sabor salado. All right. Okay, so let's move on to, so we got about the sweet, we got about salty, we've got four more left. So let's... Uh -huh. Anyone, <laughs> if anyone wants to guess, they can put it. Unless you're a doctor, you will know everything. <laughs> but if you want, if anyone wants to take a guess, you can put it in the comments too. So, of course. So we're just speaking by ourselves and boring you guys. <laughs> Okay, so the third, uh, the third uh, taste is the, how do you say that? Sour, sorry. In, in Spanish, we say sour. Yeah, sour. The sour taste. So sour taste also, like, it's very popular. Like, everyone uses it. It's like, for example, like lemons. For example, limes that I have. Like, they are sour, actually. Hmm? For example, tomatoes. No, so tomatoes also have a little bit sour taste naturally in them. And another is, for example, fermented things. So fermented things can be like some pickles, shukrut. I don't know how, I think you say kimchi in English. Like the fermented vegetables, you make a pickle out of it, like of lettuce. Sakrikat, sakrikat, I think, sakrikat, yeah. And kombucha, and like all these things, they're like more, they comes on the sour taste. Okay. Uh, sorry, sour taste. 
sour taste. Okay. Sour taste. You can repeat the same in Spanish when we walk and go to the other three three uh, taste. Yeah. Uh, uh, the other one is yogurt also. For oh. example, the yogurt that we eat is also the sour taste. Sour so it's not that complicated. It might seem like, oh, six, six tastes. I have to include all six tastes in my meal. But no, it's like very simple when we think about it. Things like lemon, you can put a little bit of lime in your food after it's ready. So that's your sour taste. Very easy. Just easy like that. Okay. Should I repeat in Spanish? How are we doing this? I don't know. That's fine. We, we can we can we can go to the uh, other three tastes and and uh, that's fine. If, if someone uh, someone is listening to us in Spanish, you can uh, you can. Let yeah, us I think most of us are speaking English. I guess. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Let's talk, let's talk about other three tastes. Okay. So this was the acidic taste, and the other one is um. So other one is amargo, or how do we call it? Like the bitter taste sorry i have to think twice so yeah. the bitter taste hmm? so yeah. bitter taste you can see very easily uh for example like vegetables like green vegetables like kale yeah. so kale is naturally like bitter like if you eat it if you make chips out of it in your oven yeah. it's naturally like bitter hmm? yeah. so that and also like there are some green herbs vegetables which are not like some herbs for example like mustard yeah What's a nettle? Like there are many herbs which naturally taste a little bit bitter. So okay. that's the bitter taste. And for example, you might be a little surprised, but spinach also comes in that category. And the bitter taste. Oh, okay. Okay. So spinach is normally okay. like it, it's a little bit. If it's like organic, like it's mostly yeah. it's a little bit more bitter. Okay. Okay. But if it's like very modified with a lot of chemicals, it might be a little different. But usually, it has naturally a little bit like bitter taste in it. Okay. Yeah. All right. If someone and the other one, the so bitter taste is that it's used, and also the spices. For example, like you were sharing with me, Anita, Amita, pardon. <laughs> for example, the spices. So, for example, I show you here. I don't know if you can see it. What spice is this? Can you see? I can see, but I can't yes, tell. It's a fenugreek. So fenugreek. Fenugreek. Okay. Uh, or made in India, like we okay. we can like yes. germinate it, and you can make plants out of it. Yes. So fenugreek, uh, fenug how do you say fenugreek, right? In English, yes. yes. Fenugreek yes. is a bitter, is a bitter spice that you can okay. cook to have a little bit bitter taste in your food. And the magic is that you don't need to put a lot of fenugreek to give taste to all the food. Just a little bit, like a, uh, a little one teaspoon or half teaspoon is good enough. Okay. 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 So and okay. also there's another, for example, mostaza we call it here, which is like mustard seeds. Yes. So I think I don't know in US. I don't remember if you find yellow mustard seeds. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Okay. So mustard seeds are also if you eat it, like if you if I try one for example, <laughs> it's a little bit bitter naturally. Yeah. And the the for example, if you germinate it, it's very easy. Like you put in water, the next day you take it out, and then you put it in the soil, and okay. in a few days you'll see that it's germinating. You just have to water the soil. So oh, it's like the leaves you will taste, and these leaves are also a yeah. little bit bitter. Got it. Got it. So that's got a it. bitter taste. Okay. All right. So, we have, so how many we have covered? Sweet. We have we have four covered. We have two more left. We have left. Huh? I, I think the uh, the pungent one. We we missed the pungent one. Yes, there's two left. I think. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we till now we discuss the sweet, salty, and sour. Uh, acido, como dicen, the uh, sour. And the bitter. Hmm? Yeah. So we have. And the fifth one is the pungent. Yes. Hmm? So pungent, what is? Or for example, if you eat a uh, a spice, or if you eat um, how do you say onion directly? Yeah. It's very like, it's very uh, yeah. how do you say strong? No. Yeah. yeah. So for that's a pungent taste. So that's a in Spanish we say picante. It's like picante uh, uh, means that it like it picks you because it's very yeah. strong. Hmm? Yeah. So, for example, all the red chilies, the green chilies, the black pepper. Okay. And also, like few spices which are uh, spicy. For example, oregano also is a little bit spicy. Naturally, when you put on the pizza on top, so that's also a little bit uh, spicy taste. Hmm? And for example, um, onion also come under that. And onion things taste. like also garlic. Garlic yeah. comes under garlic, that category. Onion, these are and onions. black pepper, which is like the most common. Mm -hmm. Spice here, uh, black pepper also comes in that category. Okay, all right, great. And so now we have one more left. 
astringent, I think. Can you right? hear me good or no? Yeah, yeah. I hear you very low. I don't know why. No, I can hear you. We can hear you. Don't worry. So let's talk about the sixth taste, the astringent. So the sixth taste is uh, the, um, how do you say, the... Um, astringent, right? Uh, astringent. Astringent, yes. 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 So in the French, we say it's the same, astringent. So astringent is like the taste. It's a little bit confusing to most of the people. They're like, what is astringent? Hmm? So astringent, I'll show you some examples. So for example, these uh, beans that you see, like the white beans. Hmm? Okay. So if you see, they are, they are hard. Hmm? Yeah. And if you soak them in water, the water will drink all the, how do you say, the beans will drink all the water. So in the morning, you'll see that the beans are a little bit more fat, like, you know, they become yeah. more hydrated. Yeah. yeah. So that's, that's it. It's like astringent is something that, uh, that dries a little bit naturally. Hmm? So for example, even the, how do you say, like the raw vegetables or raw fruits, for example, with, with you know, like the, how do you say, green apple. <laughs> Okay. So it has a peel on it, which is a, it's, which has a lot of fiber in it, basically. And if you see, like the garbanzos, yeah. the uh, the free, how to say, the beans that we cook, naturally they are like they have a lot of fiber, and they can be very difficult to digest, also. Okay. So, for example, the astringent is this. So it's something that that dries up the water. So, for example, if you eat a pomegranate, yeah, you see the seed. It's like. It, it's a little bit different on the tongue, no? Yeah. It dries a little bit. So that's what astringent is. Or if you see a banana, you open the peel, and if you see there's like white, like threads, yeah. and if you eat that thread, it's not sweet. It's a little bit like, it's astringent. Okay. Okay. See? So that's the astringent taste. Now I'll repeat very quickly in Spanish. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, I don't know, there are Spanish viewers, but she'll repeat it in Spanish also. What, what, what? Uh, go ahead and repeat it in Spanish. I don't know if uh, any Spanish okay. viewers are watching, but they can watch it later. Perfect. Please. Yeah. Okay, I'll do it very quick. So, el cuarto sabor es sabor amargo. So, sabor amargo tú puedes encontrar en los vegetales que es como hierbas, sí, que sea verdes, hierbas que sea un poco más, sabes, como más ligeros. Y también kale, también de esta categoría que se llama amargo. ¿Mm? Y la otra es pungente. So, pungente es algo que sea picante, ¿sí? Uh, es picante, so básicamente uh, chile verde, ¿sí? chile rojo, pimienta negra, todo esto son uh, picante. Y la otra, la última es astringente, so astringente es, tú puedes encontrar en frijoles ¿sí? y um, frutas crudas, todo eso es astringente. Y ya, esos son los seis sabores. Anuja, I think, I think there's no Spanish words here, okay, then we'll only do it in English. <laughs> All right. So I think I think this is it for today's session. Any any comments from anyone who's watching us? We are going to do one more session with Vishali next week, where she's going to talk about some recipes or some other fun stuff, right? Uh, Vishali, the next week is a uh, is a continuation of this. Um, yes. Okay. All right. We are not. Uh, don't worry. We are not translating. She is from sp uh, Spanish country. That's why we were translating because she has a following. All right. With with that, we'd like to wrap up this session. Anything else from you, Vishali, or any anyone else we, before we wrap up this session? Yes. Uh, let me. I want to hear you. Good. Can you repeat it? I'm sorry. I said, is there anything else we we'll, we're going to wrap up this session and we will talk again next week on some of the recipes. The, for next week, yes, the recipes would be next week. This is these are short sessions. We try to do it. Yeah. Or, Should any, we ask questions? Uh, no, if anyone no. has questions, no, it's they, okay. They, they want recipes, so we'll talk about it next week. We want to keep these sessions very small. Right? Okay, perfect, yeah. perfect. So anyone who wants, I have any questions, you can write to me in person. Yeah, in my you, can here, you can write here as well to Nourish Talk and we, we, we will, uh, we, you know, we can uh, do that. All right. So let's wrap up this session. Any other comments? Sure. From anyone? Okay. Next week, we are going to talk about different recipes. Those will be the fun things. So if you want to know about breakfast, lunch or dinner, and are you really tired? How can you combine all these six days? With that, wrapping this up, thank you so much. Have a great day. Thank you so much. Thank Michelle. you. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.